All right, so if you did not know, we are a huge fan of Gen V. It's a premiere. It's a prime video show. It's basically a The Boys spinoff, and it's one of the better spinoffs of a great series that I have seen in some time. All right, this series, uh, episode one through four, was basically world building. But let's jump right into uh, episode five and break down what the heck happened. There's a lot happened. First and foremost, last episode. It ends with a blackout scene and they all the uh, cast, the main cast, who was dealing with the uh, gist of the problem, which is Sam uh, going on a rampage. They all woke up in random beds together, right? So the episode picks up from there. And let me tell you one thing, boy, Twitter love these two. Twitter been going crazy for these two all during Friday. So, I mean, Twitter has been going crazy for them. All during Friday, but let me, what's next? All right. A little bit of people, Tom going. Oh, I think for sure, Shawty Cricket. Cricket Shawty is a uh, star of the show, no cap. Stop the cap. I'm not capping, though. I think she's a star of the show. I don't know how she hasn't been even bigger, but this is going to catapult her career. I wouldn't even mind watch, making her... The main character, but she might just be a good side character. She might not be able to hold the story. And some nah, she doesn't show range. She get like she could get depressed. She can um get like moody. She can get like joyful. She could be chill. Like she have a range. I maybe she really relates to the character of Cricket. But anyways. She, we didn't know she can grow big, but apparently she grew big and they got crazy at uh basically Marie and uh, Cricket got crazy, started looking at uh, social media and realized that Marie was kissing on Jordan last night. It's all over Twitter. Um, Cricket was butt naked, huge as heck. So that's a whole thing. They was confused about that. Next scene comes up. Sam, crazy behind, shows up saying like, oh, you guys are safe. And they was like, who the heck are you? It's like, oh, dog, they don't erase your mind. You got to, like, be warned. Now, here, here's the only hiccup. We find out that one of the main core of cast is the one who deletes memories. Why don't he tell them who was deleting memories, which is um, the blonde chick the whole time. But he kept it to himself. But that storyline working. Uh, fast forward. Doctor and the dean are talking on the ground. We realize that they are trying to discover a way to manipulate these supers so they don't have problems like uh what's his name homelander they trying to figure out like how can we control them like have a kill switch so they had never have a chance to rebel and stuff like that but uh he's saying it's not worth it he low-key is correct all right i don't know how he even stayed down there so long but to each his own. Everybody believed that he's the reason that everybody's uh forgetting the memory, but it's the blonde chick. Uh cuts to a scene of Sam talking to his um to his puppet friends in his mind, which foreshadows an amazing scene in the future. He's talking about how he had to protect uh crickets. And she, he was basically telling the little fake puppet, like, you're not her. At least he know at a certain point, like, <laughs> cricket ain't a darn puppet. But moving on. This is when junk hit the fan. Apparently, the school sent some Black Ops team to get Sam. It didn't end good because he went full puppet mode, started ripping freaking li ligaments off, you know, the whole nine. It was pretty... Entertaining. I wouldn't mind watching a whole show like that, though. It's pretty good. Uh, moving on. Marie and Cricket realize that they're being tracked via tracker in their collar. She felt the blood clot and just pulled it out. She goes to the blood shake and be like, oh, snap, we're not safe. And then the blood shake <laughs> freaking... 
Blanchick basically wiped her memory again. Blanchick then goes to the DMs like, bro, I can't keep doing this. She was like, hey, bro, you're going to have to figure it out, gang. You're a hero. And they kept pushing. Fast forward, Cricket leaves the campus to go find Sam because she's seen an old T-shirt. Finds Sam. And Sam tells her about how the blind chick is deleting everybody's memories. Cricket tells the team. The team stops Jordan from killing um, Rufus. Ruth. Rufert. Rufus, I think his name is. And then she's like, yo, yeah, I've been doing that. Touch it, give him back all his memories. He's like, yo, get away from me. Junk like that. Very melodramatic. It ends on an um, off note, but it's going to ramp up because next episode we get the original racist himself all right all right but yeah man this is way better than loki too bro i ain't gonna lie like i don't know how they did it maybe it's just the idea of a fresh new story and like some series when it become like Season two, some series just can't do season two. It's like a one and done, like One Division. They might have needed to make Loki a One Division type of concept and just pick up on Loki storyline of who killed he who remained in a Kang story, like a like a small story put on Disney Plus or something. But that's a little bit of Loki conversation. But yeah, man, this is a great show. I give it a smooth like eight. I'm looking forward to how they're going to uh, stick the landing. But I think that's pretty much it. I ain't going to hold you, dog. No! What are you waiting for? Do, do it! it! Make your dreams Don't come true! Dreams Just do it!